I'm Kellyn O'Connell, and we have two children. Brady is four years old, and he has cystic fibrosis, and Quinn is one, and he does not have cystic fibrosis. 24 hours after he was born, the nurse came in and said, oh, we have a problem. When the surgeon came out and said cystic fibrosis, um, we knew then that we were, um, we were in for a long haul. I remember the surgeon pulled us into a, into a private room and said, you know, the good news is that life expectancy for kids with cystic fibrosis is 37 years old now. And I remember thinking to myself, wow, that's, that's the good news, huh? Cystic fibrosis is a genetic disease that you are born with. Builds up mucus in your lungs, um, builds up mucus throughout your body and causes uh, a number of pulmonary and digestive issues. Your pancreas doesn't, either doesn't produce or doesn't allow enzymes to enter into your stomach to digest your food. Makes a lot of things difficult like digestion and breathing in the long run. It shortens the lifespan of a child. When he does get sick, he's sicker a lot longer than most kids. Even though like I've been healthy, I'm still like susceptible to many like different bacteria. It affects all of us. Like we can't all go to indoor playgrounds and things like that. That's never been allowed for all three of our children, not just Natalie alone, because if they bring something in, more than likely Natalie will get it as well. When you're a parent of a child with cystic fibrosis, you live with an anxiety. If you don't have CF in your family, a cough is just a cough and you kind of ignore it. You don't even think about it. Um, you know, we have to look at it as if, you know, there might be something that will develop into a major illness. Not knowing anything about the disease, I realized that it was going to change everything for Will. It's a part of your routine. It, it's just part of our life. Brady has to take over 25 pills before he even has breakfast in the morning. In, in the world of a four-year-old, that's a lot. And then he puts on a vest, which tries to get the mucus out of his lungs. And then after that, he does two different nebulized treatments. When your kid can be sick, you just want the doctors you know, to be able to fix it. And I remembered having the announcement of Kaladico and it was being passed on to the FDA for approval and you know, it was really promising. I haven't like coughed since I take Kaladico. My overall lung function went up 5%, my small airway lung function went up 18% and I gained 6 pounds. When I first found out about Kaleidico, um, I actually spoke with a parent of a child who was on Kaleidico, and he said it was, it, it's unbelievable, it's, it's a miracle, and they see the changes in their child, and oh, we want that, we want that for our child. And then as I continued to hear about it, I thought, wow, this is awesome, right, but it's 4% it's of the population. He's in the percent that we won't see by the time he's 10 years old. You know, slowly over time, his lungs are deteriorating. I want the same effects that Kaleidico has right now. I want to be able to see those results. 20 years ago, kids were not living to be 18, and now more than half the CF population is over 18. So we've made tremendous progress. But there's still more to do. There's still the rest of the CF community that is still waiting for their miracle. It's coming, and it's coming for everybody. You know, we're almost there, and almost doesn't get you across the finish line. It's important that we all cross the finish line together, but we need your support to get us across the finish line. We just have to fundraise and do what we can to be able to get all the new drugs that are, are down in the pipeline right now. 
We're not going to stop until we get it. You know, the biggest thing with the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation is their case study in what you want any nonprofit to be. 90 cents of every dollar goes directly to research, and that is unlike anything you're going to find anywhere else. How fortunate are we that we have a foundation that's not going to give up on our child, and um, we're grateful for that. My son is going to grow up to have a family and be able to do all the things that he wanted to do and that we got to do. But yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for helping kids like me. Thank you so much for helping us find a cure. I got kicks against butt. Oh yeah.